welcome to Martial Arts Monday, 20 minute mini session if you will. You know Mr. Ben by now, my name is Steve Robinson if we haven't met before. So, did I say we were in Workshop 10 or was I just imagining that? We're in Workshop 10. Okay, we're in Workshop 10 and today we're only going to focus on one move. It's a move called Kimono Grab and it's in the same family of strategies as covering talent. Now, covering talent, do you remember, Ben, do you remember the move covering talent is a defense for what type of attack? What's the bully doing to you when you perform the move covering talent? Yeah, so covering talent is for a two-hand shirt grab, as well as the new move that you're going to be doing today, come on and grab. So, briefly, let me show you what covering talent looks like. Turn face me. And why don't you play the role of the bully right now, okay, Ben? Go ahead and grab. All right. Covering talent. You trap the bully's arms. You neutralize. You neutralize. Okay? Now, we can get creative with the move. We could palm your strike, even though that's, that's not one of the uh, steps in covering talent. Okay? The only, we neutralize with a front kick. We slide back to that soft bow. We pull them down and we neutralize with an elbow. You could neutralize with more than just a front kick and an elbow, okay? Like I just said, you could neutralize with a palm wheel strike, other ideas as well. So, covering talent, two-hand shirt grab from the front. Let me demonstrate this new move, Kimono Grab. Now, Kimono Grab is more advanced. There are more steps to it. Right? So, because there are more steps to it, uh, because it's more advanced, you really have to keep that focus button on, and, and, and you've heard me say that probably every week, about the focus level being at the top of the pyramid, rather than at the bottom of the pyramid. So, Ben, you've got your, your two hands. All right, you trap the bully's arms. Start out the exact same way as the previous move covering talent. You front kick, you step, you step on Ben's toe, now you step on your toe, I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry Ben. Now from here, here's where it gets different. Rather than swing the arm over the top, such as in move covering talon, I'm going to throw an upward block right in between his arms, focusing on his left elbow. I'm going to rotate my body. I'm gonna punch right in between his arms. So when you punch in between his arms or when you throw an upward block in between his arms, notice that I'm hitting his elbow. Okay, that is designed to neutralize him. I'm punching in between his arms. I'm throwing an upward block, it's the same thing, in between his arms. Okay, from here, I'm gonna drop my right hand and I'm gonna bring it up. When you punch, or when you upward lock in between his arms, that's designed to neutralize him. Okay? That front kick is designed to neutralize him. So we're going to assume that once I punch in between his arms, he's going to loosen up the grip. From this position, I'm going to knock his arms down. Now, notice that he was falling forward towards me. And now, I'm going to come back with a knife hand strike. Pretty cool move, okay? Let me do it again for you. Kimono grab is the name of the move. Grab. Kimono grab starts out the exact same way as the previous move covering talent that you saw the last couple weeks. Trap his arms, pin his arms, neutralize with a front kick. Slide back to your soft boat, just like the start of covering talon. Now, here's where kimono grab differs from covering talon. I'm gonna punch in between his arms, or upward block in between his arms. I'm gonna go right in between, and I'm gonna rotate my body. I'm gonna put pressure right against his elbow, okay? Another way to neutralize the bully besides the front kick. You Break his elbow. From here, I'm going to drop that right hand. I'm going to bring it up high. He should be more relaxed. He should be 
loosened up after I just broke his elbow. Now, honestly, and again, don't take this the wrong way. It's not about hurting people, okay? It would take a lot to break someone's arm. I don't want to, I don't want to come across the wrong way. I'm not a, an aggressive person, okay? But in order to go through his arms ah, and put that pressure on, on his elbow, it would take a lot to damage his elbow. But we're just going to say we damaged it enough for him to loosen up. I drop that arm and bring it up. And now from here, his arms are loose. I'm going to knock his arms away, pulling Ben forward. Okay? Now, notice my right hand. I'm going to come right back with a knife hand strike. Okay? What do you think of that move, Ben? Would you say boo? Yeah. Or yay? You would say yay? Okay. When you compare this move that we're doing today, come on and grab, to last week's move covering challenge, we've covered challenge again. Grab. I pin and front kick. Pull them down and elbow. When you compare those two moves, quite honestly, I prefer covering Talon over Kimono Grab. Why? Because of the simplicity of covering Talon. Kimono Grab, you have to go through a lot more steps. One of the reasons we have 49 moves in the program is kind of like a menu. You pick and choose what you like. One of the moves we have the 49 moves in the program is so you know, even though covering talent and you want to grab her both two hand shirt grabs from the front, it gives you the option to decide. Do you like covering talent, the simple move, or do you like you want to grab the more advanced move? So, we're going to go ahead and work this move. Not easy to do. Not an easy move. This is an advanced strategy. And typically, we stay away from all that flashy, fancy stuff. But we're, we put it in the program to challenge you. We put it in the program to help challenge you to focus and concentrate and work on balance, not so self-control, okay? So are you ready? Covering challenge. Ben, why don't you have a seat for a minute? I'm gonna just work with everybody uh, right now, okay? Act like you're looking in the mirror and the bully grabs you by the shirt, okay? All right, so from here, in the attacker's arms. From here, neutralize the bully. I pin with my left arm, I'm gonna front kick with my left foot. Ah! Step back to your soft bow. Why do you rotate from a soft bow into the horse stance? Why do you rotate your body, Ben? To get more power. So I'm in a soft bow right now, let me give you a side view. I'm in a soft bow right now, I'm gonna rotate. Ah! You know how I said I was throwing the punch? Is it a punch? Yeah. Is it the motion of an upward block? Yeah. So whether it's a punch in between his arms or whether it's an upward block in between his arms, whatever you want to call it, you want his elbow resting on your bicep area. Okay? So let's do it again. I think I'm talking too much today, but am I talking too much today? Ben Shake. More than usual, all right. So, let's do it again. Come on to grab is the name of the move. Not gonna go super fast today. The bully has you by the shirt. Ah! Hit his arms. Neutralize. Ah! Slide back to your soft bow. Now, with the opposite hand, you're gonna punch it between his arms. You're gonna upward block it between his arms. Ah! From here, take that arm. I'm using my right arm. You're, you should be using your left arm. Bring it to the hip. Bring it up. Now your uh, left arm is above his, both his arms. Kind of picture. That's this is hard to do. His arms are right here, grabbing you. We're gonna knock his arms away. I want to point out something. There's a lot of detail in this. As I knock his arms away, I'm gonna let go with my opposite hand. I am still grabbing his arms. Watch, I hit his arm, and as soon as I hit his arms, I let go with my opposite hand. Now my hand's up to guard. And now from here, I throw the knife hand strike. Okay? Ben? Grab. Side view. Trap the arms. 
neutralize, step back to the soft bow, throw that punch, throw that upward block, okay? I neutralized him a second time, I front kicked him on one, I uh, 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 broke his elbow on two. From here, drop the arm, bring it up. Now, I'm gonna knock both his arms away, and as I hit his arms with my right hand, I'm gonna let go with my left. And then I'm gonna go right back up, to knife hand strike. Let's do it together, okay, Ben? Why don't you come over here, okay? Face. Did you all hear that? Ben said he feels like this one would hurt more than covering talent. Uh, why do you think that, buddy? Because, you know what, there's more, you can hurt more than covering talent. In covering talent, you neutralize the bully twice. One with a front kick, and two with an elbow. But in this move, come on and grab, you front kick, you break the elbow, that's two, you knock his arms away, and then you knife and strike. So you're actually neutralizing the bully more in kimono grab than you are in covering challenge. So very observant, absolutely. All right, you ready, buddy? All right, pin his arms, throw a kick, ah! Step back with your foot. Ben and I are using our left foot, you could be using your right foot, ah! Break his elbow. Let's do that again, Ben. Start your softball, then put your right hand on your right hip. Ah! Break his elbow. Now, hands on the hip. Bring it up high. Now, he still, you still have to hold his arms. Ah! Knock his arms away. Ah! Knife hand. Make sense? Okay, let's do it again. You ready? Let's give you a different view. You come over here, Ben. All right, you ready? Stay over here by me. All right. Bully grabs you by the shirt. Pin his arms. Neutralize him. Ah! Step back. From here, let's punch right through both of his arms. Let's upward block right through both of his arms. Ah! Hand on the hip. Up high. Now you're gonna knock his arms away. Let's scream, Ben. Ha! Ah! You're pulling him forward. Ah! Knife hand. All right. This time, Ben, I'm gonna grab you. Let's walk him through it, okay? All right, so with your feet shoulders width apart. You ready? Pin the arms. Ha! Oh, that was energized, man. Start again, ding dong. Pin the arms, scream. Ha! There you go, buddy. I shouldn't have called him ding dong. Throw a front kick, go! Ha! Step back. Now you're gonna go right in between my arms. Step up towards me, some come up towards me so they can see. Watch Ben as he rotates his body and punts it. Punches in between the arms. Go! Ha! Good job! Now, from here, get your hair before you do the next move, okay? From here, drop that right arm to your hip, bring it up high, knock him! Ha! Sock him! Ha! Great job. Let's do it one more time. Knock him, sock him, what do you want to call it? Knock him and knife hand him. Do you, ever, do you uh, play rock him, sock him robots? Do you ever, you know what rock him, sock him robots are? You probably, yeah, it, it's what we used to play when we were growing up. Rock and sock and robots. One was, okay, one, one robot was, I think, red, the other one was blue. All right, you ready? So, I'm just for something. Pin the arms. Ha. Neutralize with a front kick. Ha. Step back to your softball. Here's where you rotate your body and punch through his arms. Go. Ha. Punch through the arms, upper block, whichever you want to call it. Hand on the hip, up high. Here's where he's gonna knock my arms away. Go! Ha! Ha! Whoa! He knocks the arms away and then he throws a knife hand strike right at me. Alright. A little advanced, or a lot of advanced, okay? But it by showing you covering talent, remember covering talent? Let's do covering talent, okay? By showing you covering talent in the last couple of weeks, go. Ha! No. There you go, keep ha, going. Ha, ha, ha. By showing you covering talent. And comparing that to this new strategy, come on and grab, it gives you options, okay? If you like covering talent better, you're going to end up using covering talent. If you like come on and grab better, probably come on and grab you would use. So, yeah, and, and again, I know we talked about this a few minutes ago, but by, t by going through the 49 strategies, it gives you options. It's a menu. You know, do you want the hamburger or do you want the, I don't know, uh, Knuckle sandwich. Knuckle sandwich? I was going to say hamburger or grilled cheese, okay? Uh, anyway, anyway, uh, that concludes today's session. Come on and grab. 
We'll see you next week for Martial Arts Monday. It lasts about 20 minutes, as you know. Uh, come this Wednesday, you will be working with Sammy. And Sammy has, you know what the, the name of Sammy's program is? Workout Wednesday with Sammy. All right? Give me five, buddy. Nice job.